For the first time in US history, a former president has been criminally convicted. Yes, we're talking about soon-to-be skinhead Donald Trump. It's simple, Your Honor. I'm guilty, but it ain't no thing. So we're going to look at what happened, but we're also going to ask the questions. What are the legal consequences? Can he run for president? And what can he actually do to stop himself from getting into jail? In 2016, during the final weeks of the presidential campaign, Donald Trump was involved in a scheme to pay $130,000 in hush money to this woman. According to New York law, falsifying business records becomes a felony when it's done with the intent to commit another crime or to conceal the commission of a crime. In this case, a violation of campaign finance laws. Payments were allegedly structured and recorded in a way that misrepresented their purpose, disguising them as legal expenses, which were to be later paid to Michael Cohen. So what was the court's decision? In a landmark decision, a New York jury found Donald Trump guilty of falsifying business records to commit election fraud. This involves 34 counts related to a scheme to cover up hush money payments made to an adult film star, Stormy Daniels, just before the 2016 election. This conviction is historic, making Trump the first former US president to face a criminal conviction. So what are the legal consequences for Trump? Each count of falsifying business records is classified as a Class E felony in New York. The minimum sentence for a single count of those 34 is typically a year, but it can also result in probation. The maximum sentence can go up to four years per count. However, it's unlikely Trump will serve the maximum for each count consecutively due to his age, 77. Also down to the lack of previous criminal convictions. However, his violations of court orders may come a cropper to him. This was a disgrace. This was a rigged trial by a conflicted judge who was corrupt. It's a rigged trial, a disgrace. They wouldn't give us a venue change. We were at 5% or 6% in this district, in this area. During the appeal process, Trump will likely remain free on bail. This means we won't see him in handcuffs anytime soon. Next question is, can he run for president? And despite this conviction, Trump can still legally run for president. In 1920, Eugene V. Debs, a socialist candidate, ran for president whilst in prison, and he received nearly a million votes. The US Constitution only requires presidential candidates to be natural born citizens, at least 35, and residents of the US for 14 years. Criminal convictions don't bar someone from running or even as serving as president. So what can Trump do to avoid jail? Trump's team have 30 days to file an appeal to the New York High Court. If accepted, preparing for trial and submitting papers can take several months. That would probably take him all the way into August, just before the election. If the New York Court of Appeals denies the appeal, Trump's team can petition the New York Supreme Court, and this entire process can extend over several years. If he's rejected or fails in the New York courts, he can attempt to approach the US Supreme Court, arguing significant federal questions or constitutional issues. The Supreme Court only hears a small fraction of cases, so it's not guaranteed they'll take it up, but given the high profile nature of the case, it's a possibility. So while it could be years before Trump is fully convicted or in jail, it's politically where this conviction could have significant impacts. Polls have indicated that many independents would be less likely to support Trump after a conviction. More than a third of independents say Trump's conviction would reduce their support if Donald Trump was convicted in Manhattan. However, in a strange way, almost like a cult, Republicans have also said in equal number to independents that if Trump got convicted, they would increase their support for Donald Trump. So what are your thoughts on the historic conviction of Donald Trump? Do you think it's going to impact his chances on the 2024 election? Should a criminal conviction disqualify someone for running for president? Put your thoughts in the comments section. Quite a day for democracy. Once again, thank you to all of my subscribers, all of my Patreon and YouTube members. You keep this channel going and growing. If you'd like to help the channel more, click that like and subscribe button. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.